Welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Nick Bazran, and we're at the Langley Event Center. We have a packed show for you guys today, so let's get this thing rolling. There were some players on the move this week. The Surrey Eagles have acquired Garrett Forster from the Flim Flam Bombers of the SJHL for Joel Gaudet and future considerations. The Coulomb Express have traded Cal Hoffer to the Cornwall Colts of the CCHL for future considerations. The Trail Smoke Eaters have acquired Cody Bairdock from the Sherwood Park Crusaders of the AJHL for future considerations. And the Victoria Grizzlies traded Nick Sheriff to the Spruce Grove Saints of the AJHL for future considerations. And finally, the Trail Smoke Eaters have sent Braden Jones to the Portage Terriers of the MJHL for future considerations. Now let's get to the, some of the scores from this past week. On October 15th, Trail Smoke Eaters fell to the Vernon Vipers 6-3. October 16th, the Nanaimo Clippers fell to the Victoria Grizzlies 5-3. The Surrey Eagles beat the Quitlam Express 5-4. The Merritt Centennials and Penticton Vs went down to the wire in overtime as Merritt took this one 3-2. Couchin Valley overthrew the Alberni Valley Bulldogs 5-4. And the Chilliwack Chiefs shut out the Langley Rivermen 3-0. I'm here with the captain of the Surrey Eagles, Brett Mulcahy. Brett, how do you feel about the season uh, so far? I mean, of course, being the captain, you have high expectations for yourself, but you also have high expectations for your team. Yeah, um, you know, we've had our ups and downs so far. We're still uh, working as a team here and trying to gel a little bit. Um, you know, but each week we get a little better. Uh, practices, get, practices get better and, and the games get better. So it's still a work in progress. But, uh, you know, we're taking it week by week and, and practice by practice or game by game. So, uh, you know, so we're putting the work in right now and hopefully we'll see some, some results. And now after going to the RBC Cup last year, do you find that to be a distraction at all as uh, that is the main goal and you guys feel like you can get back there but is that a distraction at all since you guys were there last year? No I don't think so I think uh, I think every team's goal in this league is, is to get to the RBC Cup that's definitely our goal um, I think uh, you know if it's not your goal then you're selling yourself short so uh, we fully anticipate uh, trying to contend for an RBC Cup and uh, you know just the fact about last year it really uh, just you know uh, a lot of experience for the older guys and, and sort of what it takes to get there. It's really a long season when you go that far and you learn so much about yourself and so much about a team. So, you know, the guys that are on the team this year uh, that were there last year have a lot of knowledge about that and are able to convey that to the other guys on the team. And how did you change your off-ice training during uh, the off-season after having such a short summer with going to the RBC Cup? Yeah, it was, uh, I think I got home June started June so I didn't really, really didn't take any time off got back into it um, you know it was sort of just basically got back into shape to the point uh, where I was at the start of last year um, you know was, so I was only training for about two months there's not a whole lot of time to you know build a whole lot more muscle so it, uh, it definitely changed my my workout routine quite a bit uh, just mainly just because of the short summer and then what do you think about your new head coach who was your assistant coach last year Peter Schaefer Oh, he's unbelievable. He's uh, obviously his experience in the NHL and other leagues around the world. He's got a extreme wealth of knowledge, and uh, he's good at passing that on to us. So uh, we're pretty privileged here in Surrey to to be able to work under underneath someone who's so knowledgeable. Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate it. Thank you. And here are the scores for Friday, October 18th. The West Kelowna Warriors fell to the Penticton Vs 3-2. Surrey Eagles beat the Prince George Spruce Kings 6-1. Nanaimo took down Alberni Valley 7-5. Cowichan Valley beat the Victoria Grizzlies 3-1. Coquitlam took down Trail 5-2. Vernon was in a close one with Powell River and beat, ended up beating them 2-1. The Merritt Centennials and Salmon Arm went all the ways and ended up in a tie at 5 aside. And now here's the game of the week. And the Warriors score. 46 seconds into the game, it's going to be Carl Hessler. Tech my wrist or stopped by Clark, and there's no rebound. Tape. 
Fletch trying to clear, can't do it. Masters took it away and just avoided a hit from Taylor Maruya. Again, Masters in the corner. Cotton backhander off the post, poked in by Hessler. Warriors lead two zip. Carl Hessler has a pair and we're not even five minutes in. Can't shoot through Anholt. Plus picks it up. Maruya curls out and shoots. And the save made by Desatel. Good rebound control there. Ferguson, right back in though, come the apes. Anderson's rink wide pass to box in the slot. Hit the post. It's behind Desatel and he finds it. Play continues. Smith has a whack and can't get it through. Miraculously, the net stays on there. Play continues still. Graham to Techmeyer. Busting up the right. Techmar tried to slip it through to Masters. That one broken up. Back the other way. Sam Arms lead pass finds Jeff Kennedy. Breakaway. Kennedy back can't stop by Desatel. And he reaches back and stops the rebound too. Jeff Kennedy says he's scored, but no way will that count. Hope gets around Whiteley. Kyler Hope stops up, shoots. Stopped by Adam Clark. Hope again spins and fires. And that one rolls just wide. Couple good bids there from Kyler Hope. Game here. A lot of dump and chase hockey though. Long dumping from the Warriors. It falls to Hope. He scores. There it is. First in the league from Kyler Hope. And he had three chances on that shift. Would not be denied. A live at Neighbors. 6.30 on Wednesday nights. Associate coach Brent Goff and other guests joining me for our new show called The Goods with Goff. Half hour weekly roundup of kind of what's going on on and off the ice around Warriors country. They're working out the kinks on that show, but it's been fun so far. Guests have included Matt Anholt and Andy Desitel. I think we're gonna try to get Seb Lloyd on the program this week. Here's Landon Smith into the Warrior zone. He's stopped by Desitel. And no chinks in the armor of Desitel so far this game. He makes his 11th stop of the night. But him to hold the play alive. Backhander from Anderson, didn't let it go. Blake Box shoots, it's blocked by Seb Lloyd, who creeps out, and Lloyd has a breakaway from center. Gillies giving chase, Lloyd, Fan on his shot, almost banked it off the goalie. Plant following up a drive, goes off a leg and wide. Box up the middle into the warrior zone. Shooting, stopped by Desitelli, looked behind him, but Fox underneath. Native of Denver, Colorado, Smith to the line, and a shot from Ferguson gets through. And that should be a big momentum booster for the backs. Another chance, Colton Tebow robbed by Desitel. That's from Hope. Schmeiser at the line, doesn't have a lane. Ferner walking into the slot, nifty pass. Ivy scores! Second game in the league, and there's his first PCHL goal. Ryan Ivy on a nice setup from Max Burner. Now let's head to the scores for Saturday, October 19th, where the Nima Clippers shut out the Vernon Vipers 3-0. Couch and Valley defeated the Chilliwack Chiefs 6-5 in overtime. Simon Arm beat Coquitlam 4-3. Surrey and Prince George tied at four apiece. And Langley and Penticton came to no decision after two periods of overtime and ended up at one aside. Now let's head over to our player spotlight this week on Langley Riverman forward Austin Azurdia. Right, Austin, this year you're taking a bigger role on the ice and off the ice. Can you talk about uh, the youth movement with the Langley Riverman? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we got uh, 297s, I think, which is um, not many teams have that, but our 297s are really impressive. I mean, uh, Marcus Vella just committed to University of New Hampshire, and uh, big things for him. And, I mean, Craighead, he's got uh, a couple offers as well, and, and he's, he's very impressive as well. And, you know, our, our 96s as well and our 95s, you know, they, they get it done. Um, for being younger guys, they they don't take uh, night off, so it's it's been it's been pretty impressive. And now with yourself, uh, when you first came to the BCHL, did you have uh, some of those leaders to help you along the way and guide you on and off the ice, as you're doing with some of the younger guys now? Oh yeah, I mean uh, last year Thomas Nietzsche, uh, when he was here, he was a good friend of mine, and I played with him in Dallas, and uh, one of the best leaders I've ever I've ever played for, and um, great guy. He really uh, he led us well, so yeah. He was uh, definitely someone that I looked up to. And can you talk a bit about, as you mentioned, you did play uh, for Dallas, the Dallas Ice Jets, uh, before coming to the BCHL. How did it all come about coming to the BCHL rather than going to, say, some of the many different leagues around North America? Um, 
Actually, I played for my coach, Paul Taylor, in Dallas. His, uh, he, his roots are actually here from British Columbia. He knows the Hendersons well, and um, he actually was a goalie for the Nanaimo Clippers back in the day. So um, he, I ended up uh, kind of scrambling last minute. I had an injury that summer two years ago and scrambled, and Bobby gave me a call, and uh, the rest is history. I just came up here, and, and, and uh, it, all, it all worked out well. So, yeah. And can you talk a bit about the style that you play on the ice? I mean, you seem like you're a finesse kind of guy, but you're willing to drop the glo gloves and lay the hits. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think uh, first and foremost, my role is to score goals and, and be an offensive presence, but um, I'm not afraid to, to get in the dirty areas. And I mean, I don't think it's fair to, to look at other guys and, and ask them to drop the gloves if you're not willing to do it yourself. So uh, that's, that's something I've always played with. And, and uh, you know, I, I kind of I don't take... Uh, you know, I, I don't take any uh, liberties on people out there. So yeah. And uh, now you spoke about one of your uh, one of your main uh, objectives is to score goals. And uh, last year, around uh, the beginning of October, uh, Thanksgiving Sunday, you scored. Could you would you say the biggest goal so far of your uh, hockey career? Yeah, I, I'd say so. Yeah, that was. Uh, it definitely has the most uh, v or uh, I guess publicity. I guess uh, you could say. But uh, it was uh, it was a nice goal and. Um, Glad we got it. It uh, secured the win for us, so it was nice. Pella, and, uh, eight seconds left. Langley's got to hurry. Pella to Azurdia at center. Five, four, three. Azurdia shoots, scores! No, he did it! Are you kidding me? One of the nicest goals you will ever see. Point three seconds left. This kid could run for mayor. And uh, a year later, can I get your thoughts on the goal call by Brandon Astell? He is with the Abbotsford Heat, so there's a shout out, of course, to Brandon Astell. And he talked about about the uh, part of me, the goal call, with him uh, saying this guy can run for mayor. Are you gonna decide to go into politics after your hockey career? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But uh, Brandon, he's a great guy. He's a great broadcaster, and uh, you know, uh, it doesn't surprise me. He's up with uh, Abbotsford. He did a great job on every one of our games last year and that call especially it uh, definitely added to the goal all right Austin now are you ready for what we call the rapid fire round I'm just gonna ask you a bunch of questions and answer them as fast as possible yep. all right so best hair me worst hair Mitch and now what do you think of Mitch as a captain great captain and now who do you model your game after the most Ooh. Uh, I think Mike Richards why would you say that uh, just because he's he's a two-way forward and he uh, he scores goals and he uh, doesn't uh, back down. And now, can you tell me your favorite player in the NHL? Sidney Crosby. Now, your favorite team? Edmonton Oilers. Are the Oilers going to make the playoffs? Oh yeah, for sure. And now, who do you think has the best swagger in the locker room? Oh boy, that's tough. We got uh, let's see. I guess uh, Robbie maybe or maybe Cookie. We'll go with Cookie. And now, um, can you tell me who's the worst guy to take a road trip with, it, with from the Langley Riverman? Craighead, little 97. He uh, is a great guy, but he, he, t he chats a lot. And last road trip, uh, we roomed together, and he snored the whole time. So <laughs> that, was, that was a tough one. You're taking a road trip uh, this offseason. Just say you are. You're in the front seat. you got three other seats to fill. Who's coming with you? Cookie, Robbie, just because they're on my line. Got to go with them. And uh, we'll go with McShane. McShane's a great guy. Who's the funniest guy in the dressing room? Oh boy, Evan Anderson, that's easy. Who has the worst nickname? Oh boy, that's tough. I think, uh, oh boy, I, 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 I'm stumped on that one. All right, well that's the first time we've actually ever stumped somebody. <laughs> but who's probably the dirtiest guy in the locker room? No, I don't mean dirty as uh, dirtiest on the ice. I mean, he tosses the stuff everywhere. It stinks, he doesn't wash it. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. We'll go with uh, we'll go with Crafty, Nathan Craft. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh, mom and Dad. Got to go with Mom and Dad. Oh, especially with Christmas coming up, Austin. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now let's finish up the scores for Sunday, October 20th, as Powell River beat Cowichan Valley 4-2, Victoria beat Chilliwack 6-2, Langley lost to Prince George 3-1. Vernon took down Alberni Valley 7-4. West Kelowna beat the Salmon Arm Silverbacks 4-1. The Merritt Centennials beat the Trail Smoke Eaters 5-4.
BCHL Central is very excited about our new partnership with VBN Sports. Check out VBN Sports Network to stay up to date with BCHL Central, as well as check out our show next week from our new location with our new sports desks and some new personalities. I'm Nick Bazran. This has been BCHL Central.